How to go from this, the 1958 GMC Suburban Carrier 4x4 um, from M2 Casting. Fantastic casting. Pretty good detail. Um, almost just an embossed engine detail, but that's okay. Um, not much play in the wheels. How to go from this to this. Uh, this is my first technique of using multiple shots on the video, so I apologize. I'm not a filmmaker. Um, I'm a hack customizer. Um, but uh, I'm hoping when this is all done, you'll appreciate how this is done. Uh, the goal here is I'm going to reach out to a another um, customizer here on YouTube and uh, see if he'll trade. I'm going to give him this with two requests, that he add his own patina of what a truck that was just basically towed out into a field to rot. Um, for the casting, I wasn't a fan of the bed, so I threw some junk back there, which is a combination of brass castings. Uh, there's two, and it's spanned together and held in place by various plastic pieces. Uh, I made it, because I know it's going to be customized and repainted, I made it so that it comes out and sits firmly in place. So, it's a snug fit. Uh, the neat thing is, all the wheels roll, including the front one. Um, this one obviously doesn't, but um, hopefully the camera gives it some um, some justice here. But uh, that front tire is shredded uh, and somewhat flattened, and there's a technique that I talk about how to do that. I've covered the front seat in a cheap vinyl and put some wear and tear. And I've also, something you can't really see, I've changed the gear shift to be more realistic, thinner thinner profile. So there's the play in the wheels. We'll talk about how I did that later too. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, Zach, if you would be so willing, uh, I'm going to send this to you. And with the expectation that you'll do the patina um, and go step by step about how you would envision that that aging and if you wouldn't mind be kind enough to redo this Hot Wheels. It's a deep dish uh, Woody. Uh, it's a US casting. The only significance is that it was my dad's um, and I would like to see it in its full glory because when he gave it to me it was in better condition. It now means something more to me so um, if you would do that for me I would I would be honored and pleased and uh, hopefully you'll find it a, an equitable trade um, because technically you're going to have to do some work to the Chevy as well. So reach out to me. You know my email address. Um, and if you like it uh, and you're willing to do it, I'll ship it out to you. And I'll probably end up giving you this one too in case you need spare parts. Um, so enjoy the video. It might be long and it might be a crappy quality, but this is how I go about crashing cars.